What is up, ballers? Good evening and welcome to the Dennis Ball Show. Who's in the chat? What's up? We got Dennis. We got a player on the video game machine here. Cooley Rags is in the house. What's up, man? <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. It's so good to see you. Um, we have Georgia Constitution Media in the house, and of course, the faithful Captain Love Handles. Captain Love Handles, make sure you check out the episode that will drop on Friday. Uh, it's all about artwork on the Dennis Ball Show. All right. So Cooley ranks you from the from the Raga Core band at band Pilfers. Yeah. We're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about a specific reggae single, and the impact the record had on you as an artist, like it made you a reggae artist. Yeah. Okay. But first, let's have a laugh. Let's go to Chuckle Balls. You ever been to Chuckle Balls, Cooley? Uh, I don't think I have. <laughs> you can park in the back, man. <laughs> it, it can be hard to find parking in Ball City, and um. We, you can, ball, everyone, come on in, Super Bowl, let them in, guys, Super Bowl is the bouncer, get it, he's the bouncer, you guys, <laughs> get it, he's <laughs> the Super Bowl, and, um, hold on a second, so drinks are on me, guys, I ordered drinks for everybody, your favorite drink is in the fridge at your house, so get it and relax, snap along tap, that's right, Captain Love Handles knows the deal. And so, um, all right. Now, everybody, weigh, on each, weigh, weigh in on each joke, and you too. Like, give me, tell me if it's a laugh or a no laugh, Cooley. I got a, a quick set here. This first one is for you, Cooley Ranks. But, you know, I, I wrote a Bob Marley joke, you know, just to stir it up. <laughs> just to stir it up. Okay, that's a no laugh. I got a no laugh on the Bob Marley joke. I'm just laughing at everything I see right before me is making me laugh. Uh, yes, that's exactly what we love. Thank you. Hold on. You know, here's another one for you. Mark Rojas is in the house. What's up, Mark? Hungry Hoshans. Woo! -hoo. Um, you know, a lot of reggae producers, Cooley Ranks, use Photoshop. You know why? No. It allows them to rosterize the layers. <laughs> they can rosterize it. <laughs> Get it? Because it sounds like Rasta. Yeah. All right. I'll put that down as a no laugh. <laughs> Cooley ranks. No, you're laughing. I Love handle. One was okay. What's up, Rescue Farm? All right. Hold on a second. Rescue Farm, I bought some lettuce from the Mama's and the Papa's grocery, but I can't eat it. You know why? Because all the leaves are brown. <laughs> <laughs> all right that was a laugh was definitely a laugh. A, laugh. a laugh we're getting laughed captain love handles game number two a laugh thanks love handles appreciate you guys coming out on a tuesday night all right you know what kind of we just went got went by father's day uh coolie ranks yes do you know what music most dads prefer no pop music because they're pops. All right, that's a no laugh from Cooley. I was just kind of making that one up. That was a good one, though. Captain Love Handles, do you know what the most explosive letter in the word T is? It's the TN, T and T. It's the TNT. That's the most explosive. The TNT. Cooley. The TNT. Uh, why is there no music playing, Cooley? It's making me feel like I'm hanging out here. All right, fantastic. Hold on a second. Let me get the laughing going. Yeah, Pops was a no laugh. I get you, man. All right. Yeah, we got a couple of laughs. Three, you're going to use that. Yeah, that's a good one. The, All the leaves are brown. That was good. Yeah. That was almost worth the whole price of admission. To Chuckle Balls this evening. All right, let's go back to the listening lounge and talk about your record. But first, this message from our sponsor. The wind in my hair, subscribe, feels like a thousand likes upon a single post. Subscribe. Subscribe, Cologne, from Dennis Ball Corporation. You 
can subscribe to. Subscribe. <laughs> You like that one, Cooley Rex? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You like that? Yeah, yeah. That was one of the first videos I ever made. That's great. Um, we got a laugh at TNT. I'm glad you like that. I, I wonder if it actually makes people subscribe. I think I've got three subs off of that. I think that the, the, the fans of the subscribe me watching the video. But, but listen, I, I should say, if you're watching this on the replay, you're watching it now, and you're a new viewer, uh, please subscribe, because when we get to a thousand subscribers, we're going to do a face reveal, and I'm going to show how we make So you make All right, now, Cooley, let's get down to business. Well, as you might have noticed, the decor in the listening loud. That's a new track from from Ghost Cave for the show. Sorry about that volume issue, everyone. Um, but in any case, Cooley, um, the song, like, when did you first hear it? Do you remember hearing Girl, Girls I Like or Girl, I Like Your Style? Yeah, I, it also goes by Girl, I Love Your Style, yeah, I noticed. Yeah, it, it switches it up, you know. It's a, it's a matter of uh, feeling, I guess. But I, I first heard it when I was uh, in high school. And you said to yourself, this is it. Like, I mean, this is what I want to do. Yeah, and you, you're speaking to my heartstrings, you know, especially when you're talking about girls, you know. It's like you're in high school and that's that's all you're thinking about. And he was like, girl, I love your style. Oh, yeah. Woo. And yeah, it's, it's interesting how, you know, he, when he did the newer versions of it. Yeah. In the later, you know, he would do it with collaborators and the title changed. Right. I mean, we, we as you were, we were talking about earlier before the show, like it's hard to determine the the total like source of the song. Every uh, uh, the writer of the song, mm. everything points to Barrington Levy been do, doing it. Right. But you seem to think that it's maybe an older song. I thought than it was someone. That. I thought it was someone else. But you know, I, w I wouldn't be surprised if it was Barrington Levy. Yeah, because I mean, he was he was an originator man from the back in the day. Yeah, he's, you know, he's definitely he's definitely distinct singing voice style um sing jay even when he sang he sang excellent i mean he's, to this day he just did a performance in um uh what's that uh not the beacon theater the radio city's radio city uh, yeah yes he's still performing to this day and sound when you exactly go back and same. oh wow and you you what's up benjamin the m&m's general is in the house um you can't hear me, Hungry Hotions? Are you sure? Who can't you hear? Is that true? Music overload, I know. If I did a little audio test before, so please tell me if something's wrong. So in any case, I really want to hear it. Thank you. Um, oh, Captain Love Handles had his honeymoon in Jamaica. That's awesome. Oh, Jamaica's so, nice. Beautiful. So you met Barrington Levy. Yeah, when I was a kid, I, I met him in the studio. I went to a... A rehearsal studio where everybody, you know, everybody used to, all the reggae artists used to go. When they came from Jamaica, they would go to um, Lloyd Cross, one of, one of the studios they would go to for rehearsal. It's yep, this was in London oh, or no, no, this New is, York? This is in Brooklyn, New York, in Flatbush. Okay, yeah, okay. My, yep. my mentor, Computer Paul, was a musician and he used to back all of the, the reggae artists when they came from uh, Jamaica. 
Oh right. wow! Yeah, so I got to meet a, I got to meet a whole lot, a whole lot of um, superstars as a kid, just hanging out in the studio and carrying his uh, keyboards and just being around musicians. I've been around. That's amazing. I've been around musicians as much as I've been around uh, my family. Yeah. And so when when you met Barrington Levy, yeah, would did you have you you had already heard his song and you knew, oh, I knew that he had I knew he was. you you knew he had had a huge influence on oh, yeah. you. Did you say anything oh, to him? Did I you did. say? Of course I did. I was like, Yo. you said, dude, I love your song, no. girl, I like your style. No, no, oh my god, no, 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 you just said you're no, amazing. No, no, I was like, yo, you need to put me on, man. Put me on, and you you need to boss me. You know what I mean? He's like, what? Boss you, man, if I boss myself. <laughs> so, basically, <laughs> so basically, I asked him, you know, like, you need to, you know, promote me. You need to make me yep. huge. And he was like, shit, I need to make myself huge. Yes, exactly, so, man. Okay. It's true because you realize now, you know, as a musician who's had some success, that it's a, it's a, it's an everyday struggle, man. You never stop exactly. trying, to trying to promote yourself because you have to. You, that's just how you got to grow, yeah, man. Yeah. But um, I have. it's just you don't know what you don't know the business and you don't know what the struggles the artist has to do. But um, you know if you got if you got talent, somebody's gonna discover it or someone will discover it. Discover it from someone. Someone will, someone will help you. Someone will help you. It just uh, it has to be the right person and the right time, right place. And so, and so when ba when you when you would you say that Barrington Levy's style like influenced your writing, your vocal, or like your production I would, style? I would say or? definitely my vocal style. Yeah, definitely my vocal style. If you if you've ever heard some of the songs, I sing very high, very high, mm -hmm. very high. I, I could sing low as well, but. Madura. <laughs> you, know that you, you, sound, you sound like him. You, you, you gotta, that's him. You gotta, you gotta no, that's not. Bitty by number one is not him. Yeah, that's wait, somebody else. But your, your tone, that's, that's um, uh, Johnny Osborne. Yes, exactly. Another great. Now, different artists have like sort of vocal hooks that they repeat in their own what? in their songs. That's their style. That's the style. That's the distinction that distinguishes them from anyone else. What's the Bar Does Barrington Levy have one? Um, skitter wop, skitter wop, skitter wop, skitter wop. He does that kind of stuff, you know. He's he has a few of them. Pretty boy, like he does this thing like that. Yeah. Like that. Does he go pretty boy at the beginning of every song, something like that? Not not at every song, but in the song, you'll. Ha you'll I mean, he has variations because he's yeah. He's so gifted. I've heard him do that he's before. So gifted with the um, with the with the vocals, he can do anything. He, I mean, he just he can change it all the time. It's never. Like one, oh, that's Barrington. You know his, yeah, you know his right. melody, his his tone of voice. And, oh my gosh, and it's beautiful. That his t the, just the timbre of his voice yeah, is immediately identifiable. It's like hearing Coltrane play horn. You can tell absolutely. And guys, go. He, I put the link in the description. Go listen to after the show, "Girl, I Like Your Style" mm -hmm. or "Girl, I Like." You know, by him, it's girl. It's so freaking good hold on i have other questions here um oh uh, no that's about all man anything what's what other so is that is that that's just a single right is it on an album too like how can people find that song I'm youtube not sure. probably. i'm not sure yeah just just google it uh, go on youtube and yeah i was looking online i think there's like maybe one or two CDs that have it, but you can find it on like you know the music streaming services. Yeah, it's, def stuff. it's definitely registered because you can't just uh, download it and play it, which I found out. <laughs> you certainly cannot. Yes, I found that out. They muted it up. All right, now Cooley ranks. Yes. It's time for Cooler Drool memes, ballers. Let's see what the. Well, thank you, Captain Love Handles, for telling me the sound is good. I did see that, and I appreciate you telling me. It actually is super helpful to have that information. Hold on, let me get the, your zoom. Sit comfortably, Cooley, and I'll I'll center you on the monitor here. Um, if I can find the zoom, there you, there we are. Perfect. All right. Now this is Cooler Drool memes, Cooley. What happens is I put up a meme. I have ten of them, and just say if it's cool or drool. And the people in the chat will say as well, and we just sort of, and we have a laugh. It's funny. They're not. Some of them are bad. Some of them aren't that great. Here, let's go right to the first one. 
One does not simply understand reggae lyrics. I thought that was funny. You know, it's that that meme of the Boromir from Lord of the Rings. He always is saying, one does not simply march into Mordor and then they... But you do understand reggae lyrics, so maybe it's not funny no, to you. No, it's funny, it's funny. It is funny, yeah, though. it's funny, of course it is. But you do, when you hear a reggae song, you understand everything they say. I have an advantage over you guys. Because <laughs> I can't. Some things I can, you I, know, but only after years of listening to it. I have I have a inside, inside a connect. Thank you, Georgia Constitution. Yeah, you have the inside. Yes, we got a cool on this first one. I think it's a fun. It's cool. It's a fun I one. Think it's fun. Yeah. All right. Next one. When people call you Jim Morrison instead of Lizard King, sad lizard noises. <laughs> says sad lizard noises. I thought it was funny. It's sort of a little bit niche. If you don't like it, cool. He say it's say it's drool. He does. No, no. He looks sad. He does, okay. And he's a poet, so I, I love that you gave him a, a, a cool. We got a cool from Jim Benjamin, I think, on the first one. Thank you, Benjamin. All right, here we go, number three. Hardcore punk versus ska punk. Someone will die of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good. That got a laugh from you. You move in those circles, so you know all about that. I do. Oh my goodness. And they're fun. They're funny. All right. Hold on a second. What's up? KR is in the house. Giving us a cool. Two is a hmm. Okay, we got a two a hmm from Captain Love Handle. Ska music? This is sort of. I give this a drool because it's low effort, Cooley. It's low effort. What do you think? Is it a cool that's or a, is it a that's drool? That's a drool. That's a drool. Rule. Just because it says ska doesn't make it funny. I found that. There were not a lot of good niche memes sometimes for musical genres. Hold on. Surprise the kids tonight with Feet Loaf! <laughs> You're laughing, Cooley. <laughs> I know. Look, look at the onion toenails, Cooley. Disgusting. <laughs> I know. It's great, isn't it? Love it. All right. Yo, the, that's a no. Hoshins <laughs> is saying, ask you about Alpha Boys School. Oh, who's that? Hungry Hoshins. Are you a fan, Hungry Hoshins? <laughs> woo. I bet to be a woo. Wait, what is what is Alpha Boys School? Alpha Boys School is one of the most uh, influential institutions, which is was an orphanage that... Um, Nurtured so many talented musicians to come out of there to play ska music. It's still around to this oh, day. Oh, really? Yes, it's it's still around to this day, and they uh, still have programs where they take. This is in Jamaica or the states? This is in Jamaica. This is in Jamaica. They wow, they, very cool. They nurtured um. They nurtured the orphans. I don't know what they call it, but they're not really orphans anymore because they have a home. But they nurture right, so many... but it's kids who that's kids who who can use a musical opportunity and, and they provide and it. They, they get it and they become the best, the best of Jamaica from that school. They produce so many people like that. Buddha by Buddha by Buddha by what you were just talking about. Yeah, Buddha by number one. He was a, yes, Wayne Wonder. No, 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 no. That's no, the, not Wayne Wonder. Um, Johnny Osborne. He was a student. Johnny Osborne. Yeah, he, Ice Cream Style. Right. He was a student of Alpha Boys. Wow, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah. I learned something completely new. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Hungry Hotions, for bringing that up. Also, that's cool. Also, Supernova, during the COVID, we wrote, we had Supernova Saturdays, and we raised over $15,000 and sent to um, Alpha Boy School. Well, who, was that Pilfers doing, like, no, uh, was, shows? Or? Supernova Saturdays, Supernova International Scar festival on saturdays we had we had a 24 hour or maybe a 12 hour um concert via internet with bands from cool. all, all over the world and we raised a lot of money and also re uh, recently they put out um some two albums of the artists that played on supernova and raised more money for alpha boys they're paying tribute to where it came from that's awesome man yeah. so thank 
thank that person for asking that question. Yeah, for bringing that up. In yeah. fact, we'll, we'll put a link to that in the description, and it's making me feel like I should do an episode on that topic, actually. It's, it's huge. It was, this is all, all, right. all done when people were thought they was going to die. Do you understand the importance? They found, deep, yeah. they found humanity and gave of themselves to help someone else. That was amazing. Thank, that, thank you for that question. Thank you, Hungry Hoshins, man. All right, Supernova. Yeah, hit the like button, everybody. Thank you. George, look at this one. Bernie and Bob. <laughs> I give that a like. I give that a love. I know. Isn't that wonderful? That is beautiful. If only, man. Yeah. But you know what? Hey, t different time periods, right? They probably would have been around the same age if, if you want to go back in time. We could... We could probably do some numbers on that. See how old. Dude, those two, you know, Bernie hangs out with Killer Mike. He would be him. He would be hanging out with Bob, like yeah. totally. Why not? I, I could see I could see the pair. It's a good pair. And Bob ha had interest in you know influencing political things. So I, I yeah, I totally. Mm. That's definitely a ding. Yeah, with Bernie. Yeah, Kr. Yes, Bernie. Lll. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Cool. All right, let's move on. Tomorrow is the day that my scumbag takes off. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a hundred coolie that's, ranks. That's a, that's, a, that's a life. That's a life. He, yeah, that's a good one, right? Yeah, oh my gosh, Kr is laughing. I think she's laughing at Bob and and um, and Bernie. But yeah, this one's great. I thought this was so funny because it really resounds with a lot of artists. It's so funny and it's just amusing. As especially, heck. With, okay. especially with Scar because there's, there's no age limit on it and everyone totally thinks it's going to take off. So why not? Yep, exactly. It's funny. Why not? And the outfit. All right, here. Hold on. I'm going to shut the music off for this one. Hold on. I'm just going to pause it for a second because it's like critical that I be, that you guys can hear me for this. Um, I never meant to cause you any sorrow. I never meant to cause you any pain, coolie rags. I only wanted one time to see you laughing. Sing it with me. I only want to see you laughing with a purple range. Purple range. Purple range. That's right. I'm sorry I sang that whole thing, but I thought it was worth it to do that. I'll put the music back Guess on again. Chuckle. Guess a chuckle. It does. You guys like that? Bernie would be four years older than Bob. You see? Thanks, love handles. You see? That's excellent. Um, purple range. Excellent research. Oh. Yeah, I know. The internet has really changed the world. Okay, hold on. Let me turn this off. We got two more. More moans. <laughs> more moans. The Mormon Ramones. Cooley, you're laughing just like I am. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> like, hold on. I have to see if their name tags say Joey, Johnny. Oh, no. They're blurry. They really should have made them sit, read Joey, Johnny. You know what I mean? Dee Dee and Tommy. That is fantastic. Benjamin, the M&M's general, what's up? Yes, we got laughs. Boom. People like that last one. All right, we got one more. This is good, Cooley. Ready? It's a ska one. Once you listen to every ska in existence, you must fight this. <laughs> this is the final boss of ska. You're, kind, you're giving it a no laugh. No laugh. You give, you're giving it a drool. I thought it was... I, I like particularly the motion lines, the zoom lines on the side. <laughs> you know, but <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, ballers, let's go back to the beat real world room. Cooley ranks. Thank you so much, man, for coming out tonight, Benjamin. I'm gonna just say thank you to all the ballers, man, and one love to Georgia Constitution Media. My man, Rescue Farm, and my friends, Rescue Farm, and Benjamin the m, &M General, and K.R., and Captain Love Handles, my man, and of course, Hungry Hotions, 
And um, anyone else who happens to be lurking, or if you are on the replay, thanks, man, for coming out and watching the show. Cooley, have a fantastic week, my friend. Thank you so much, and I will. Thank you so much for having me here, Dennis. I will. Peace out. And Peace. One, and Just a lamb. Force of Kingdom Ramblers, Bambi, Ricky, Jack.